welcome to Wendy's Art. Today I'm doing a preparation piece for my next big art project which will be a mixed media painting on a 40 inch by 60 inch stretch canvas. Um, it will be titled Out of the Fire which will depict the Australian bush in the Blue Mountains, New South Wales with very rare pink flannel flowers blooming and bringing new life and colour to the landscape which is still charred by the fiery summer of last year's bushfires. So the size of the paper today is 12 and a half inch by 18 inches. It's a pastel paper, colour fix, and I'm using mixed media, um, which we'll see as we go. Um, so this is a photo of the finished painting, which I'll show in full at the end. Um, but I, I just wanted to guide you through my thought process. I'm, I'm just using this to try and work out the composition, the colours, what I want in it, what I don't want in it, what looks good, what doesn't. So that when I get to the big canvas, I'm not necessarily going to reproduce this one verbatim, but it will give me an idea of what looks good and what I need to add and what I need to drop. So I hope you enjoy this preparation piece and I'm really looking forward to getting started on the big one, which will be my next project. Thanks for watching. Here are the colours that I'll start with. They're golden fluid acrylics. So I'm just wetting down the canvas paper so that the I want a fairly watery um, start and this will be a very abstract sort of bushland background. So starting with a blue and white sky area, moving with a fan brush. Don't mind the drips, I'm just wanting a very messy abstract sort of background. Uh, bringing in some uh, green gold, I think it is, and some sepia and some quinacridone nicolazzo gold. So just moving those colours around, letting them run, letting them drip, um, just trying to have fun with this process. But as I said before, I'm, I am doing it to plan my next big painting, so just seeing what sort of methods will work. So here I have some charcoal sticks, Creta colour charcoal sticks in various colours, um, starting with a black, and then I've got an earthy art graph. Um, they were beautiful and working in this wet background really brings the colours out in the charcoal sticks and the art graph. Uh, they're not as faint as they would normally be so it was really beautiful juicy colour coming out of them. So I'm just using an assortment of charcoal sticks and art graph. I don't know what you call them, art graph. <laughs> Little rectangles of charcoal -y colour, they're beautiful. Um, so letting it get muddy bringing in some black for the, the burnt bushfire burnt trees. So as I said, this will be very abstract -y. I'm just locking in some shapes and colours, letting it, letting it all mix, not being too precious about it. Uh, dropped in some green gold paint and I'm using a skewer just to move that paint around. In the Australian bush, I love that we have so many flowers that, I'm um, sorry, plants that have those green skinny leaves, leaves and, and so I'm just doing an abstract replication of that. So using that stick to move it around. Again, not, not being, I'm not trying to produce anything realistic here. So now what I've done, I, I want to knock back some of the colours and I want to bring out the texture. So being the pastel paper, I think that's helped, so I'll need to think about that when I, when I approach the big canvas. Um, but using this paper towel just to uh, bring off some of the colour, some of the paint, where it's very wet. Um, and finding that it really leaves a beautiful texture behind, so <laughs> I probably went a bit overboard bringing the paint off because it looks so uh, textural and, yeah, just beautiful. So continuing with the paper towel. And the thing with this is, you know, I'm getting some gorgeous textures and I can come in again with the black if I want to, to, you know, add, add more colour in at, on the next layer. But just knocking it back here, you can see all those white texture marks. So just working around the, the black areas first. Getting every last bit of paper towel I can use there. Trying to sop up some of that water as well, it was quite wet. 
I'm just enjoying seeing what marks are left behind when I dab at it. So it's really nice. And as I said, I suspect it was the texture of the pastel paper that probably helped with that. Now I'm using some brown paper packaging. I'm um, just trying to just get any little wet bits of paint off and just knock it back and get as much texture showing through as possible. Okay, welcome back. So this is all dried now and I'm up to layer two. Um, and as I've said before, this is a practice piece for a larger abstract with pink flannel flowers down here. Um, some largish ones and some smallish ones, but I just I wanted a fairly abstract background. Now I've knocked back a lot of the black um, by using the paper towel and the brown paper. So I'm just going to bring a little bit more back in. Um, it's all a bit of an experiment. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but I'm going to use a bit of this charcoal paper. Sorry, charcoal powder. I think I'm still half asleep. Um, and just bring in a bit more of that black. So I'm just dipping this soft SOFFT sponge in. This is what I use with my pan pastels. So I figured it would do a, a reasonable job with this. Yep, so it's just putting a light dusting of the charcoal in there. black charcoal back onto these tree shapes, abstract tree shapes. Because the flannel flowers only, they're an ultra rare flower, which is really cool, which sparked my, well apart from them being a beautiful flower, but sparked my um, curiosity. So when I looked it up, there has to be a special set of conditions for them to flower and it is bushfire followed in a certain way with rainfall. So obviously from all the really bad bushfires we had last year, they had some rainfall at the right times. And as with the name that I'll be calling, I've already got the name picked out, how of course I'm usually struggling to find a name, but this one is going to be called Out of the Fire. So out of the bushfires and the, the terrible times everyone had comes this glorious, beautiful um, field of pink flannel flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so got that back in. I'm, I'm trying not to be too fussy with this one because it's really just, as I said, a practice piece to see how I want to do the, the big one on the big camps. So. I'm going to add a little bit of this sanguine powder now. I'm using this one to represent a little bit the, the red of the bushfires. And as in Australia, we, we do have a lot of red earth, red dirt, but just, just the representing the red from, for me, this is representing the red from the bushfires. applying 
little bit here and there. Very fun way to work this, you sort of just go with the flow and have a little bit of an idea in mind, but yeah, it's fun. Okay. Now, I'm going to use this green charcoal, it's a Krita colour coloured charcoal. It's a sort of a dark green, so I'm just going to get some of these. Earthy green colours up there. on the trees but their trunks are still charred still showing the signs of the, the bushfire all right now I'm going to bring in some greens um, just this shows that things are starting to sprout again So these, these are um, Prismacolor New Pastels. So they're very handy. I prefer these for this sort of thing over the soft pastels because I can get some nice fine lines with them. So I'm not trying to be too precise or accurate, just getting some line work in. Showing a bit of, bit of green up here. more of a mute greeny colour. No real plan here, just trying to just get a bit of a bit of colour in there. A bit of the greens. Intended to be an abstract background, not trying to do anything too realistic. Uh, a bit of yellow. going to do I I do want to do some ink work um, so I might just 
<coughs> I might just use a pen for this practice piece. I'll just grab one. But when I do... When I do the actual painting, I'll be using um, probably a fine, a fine liner paintbrush with some black ink. So I just want to have a look and see. So yeah, in sort of areas up here, I just want to sort of put some black marks in. getting a bit choked up with the, the charcoal but yeah I think in the in the big painting I'll be doing some black line work but um, using as I said some some black ink and an actual paintbrush uh, yeah I think that should work well okay let me just Get the dust off that. Now, important thing to remember when you're using a fine liner is that when, if it gets wet or you go over it, it will run. So you have to wet it in order to set it. Okay, so I think I need to get a little bit of light blue just up, and up the top here. really good working on the pastel paper because it's um, taking the pastels really well. I'll have to consider that when I use the big canvas. Maybe I need to put a pastel ground on the big canvas. Might be something to think about. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit darker. Um, I have a darker... Um, Got this one, but it's a bit dark. Let me just put a little few little. Okay, now I want to add a little bit of purple. Um, mainly because I like purple as a shadow colour plus the pink flowers I think will look nice with that touch of purple there. Sun coming from this direction, so shadows on this side, on the left side. Again, it is abstract, but gives it a bit of bit of variety there. Pretty happy with that. Um, I'll put a bit of dark brown. No, actually, I'm just going to leave that as it is. Put some of that charcoal in. Okay, um, so all in all, I'm pretty 
pretty happy with that so far. What I'll do is I'll go and shake that outside and get all the powder off and then I'll come back. Okay, so here we are back again. So I shook off the charcoal and then I gave a spray with the Schminky Pastel Fixative. Um, I quite, I know fixatives darken things, but I quite like the way this, the effect of this has on the organic, natural, earthy colours. So as you can see, it's darkened it up a little bit, but that's fine because I'm going for a bushfire theme. Um, I find when you use fixatives, you have to keep bringing up your lights again, but because this is sort of a bit of a dark area, um, I'm going to be having the the pink flannel flowers for the colour um, should go okay. So again, this is just a preparation for a big painting of the same theme. So I'm just going to use my Neo Colour 2s just to get in the actual pink flannel flowers. So I've been trying to think about how I want to do it. I want to have a fairly big flower as a focal point here and then in the background I'm going to have a lot of little ones and blurred out ones so I have a photo here that was kindly I was kindly given permission by Anne-Marie Sev um, to use her photo that she took recently of these flowers so that's what I'm going to be using as my reference for the main flower So let me just try and roughly get that in. So thinking about rule of thirds, one, two, three, so round about here is going to be the focal point. So I don't want it huge, but if I put it about there, so we've got, so think about the size of this, so half of that so the flower sort of comes up like that and one off to the side one off again another one let me come down so there's one at the bottom comes out here. What have we got? One, two, three. So we've got one, two, one, two, three. So we've got another one coming down this way. In there. And there's another one just coming in from underneath. So we've got this one, and there's one coming out there. Um, what have we got here? So one coming out there. And then we've got a little, little baby one here. Behind that, a bigger one, and then another one coming out here. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I'm not being trying to be too precious with this drawing, just trying to get it all in, and then on the inside, I need to get a darker pink. Oh. Okay, so on the inside we have one, two, three, four, one, two, yeah. just trying to very 
simply just get this dotted around. I'm trying not, I'm not going to be too exact with this photo here, but just a spattering of, okay, and then on the inside, I've got a pinky colour all in there, so they're all sort of coming in this way. going to do this flower perfectly I just want to basically get an idea of how it sits in the composition so I'm just going to put some pinks on the leaves they're quite whitey gray but they've got a just a hint of pink yeah, I won't be using the neo colors in the final painting but they're handy for me just to get an idea over them with a pale grey. darker grey. Now what did I say? I think, yep, so the sun's coming from this way. So shadow colour in here. and the direction that they're now these petals are very furry um so what do i want to use mm. okay i'll use this but it's not quite sharp enough but it doesn't really matter at this point Got little protrusions off the sides there. So when I do the big canvas, um, I'll probably be using paint for this acrylic paint so I can get the fine details because I want it to be very realistic, the flowers. try and sharpen this somehow to get fine points if I was going to use it but just want to see how this composition will pan out okay so let's bring some of those lights in on that side So, I have a big flower there, and then from that flower, there's going to be a little bud. Okay. 
blood, this blood, this bud in the photo is fairly blurred, so I'm just trying to see if I can find, uh, yeah, I'll do my best with this. Okay, so, I've got a sharp point at the top, which is sort of a, a whitey grey colour. So if that starts there, that is up to there. Okay, so the top's about there. And then it comes down in sort of an onion shape, really. And then back up again. And then the inside is this sort of rich, dark pinky magenta. Touch of purple, so I'll just get the magenta colour in. hanging out the bottom of the bud there. I can't quite make it out. So I'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, so just to get the branch for the flower. Um, the photo, I can't really see where the flower's coming from, but it's probably coming from a branch out here. So I'll put that in there. A lot of them seem to be coming from the sides. So that's my main, that's going to be my main focus. Um, then I thought I might have some smaller than that one, but some coming up from the, the bottom here. leaves are catching the light. Sort of a fairly... Bring this up over here. That one's a bud. I'm going to make these smaller. have a flower coming off that one.
with a bud. Okay. This flower actually need to turn that over. Okay, so this flower is going to have general shape of this. two, three, four, five, little one poking up there, and then this one is sort of going backwards. Any little. This one's pointing that way. This one's longer. And then one more here. Okay, so just throw a bit of pink in each of those. Bit of light grey in the middle with the pink. Okay, and thought I had a light pink. Okay. So, so that one. coming up here. So this one's got dark purple, oops, wrong one. Uh, dark purple stripe down here. And that's sort of the dark purple. 
beautiful. This is a little dark under here. under here. The rest of this one's fairly greyish. This one's got under there, pink under there, pink on the end. Okay, so you get the general drift. So that's a bud. Now, I'm trying to think if I want any more close up flowers. I might pop another flower in over here. If I can find one. Okay. of the flower. Pink on this one goes in some shape. It's quite white in the middle, probably more grey. Enters in. Okay, and I'll do these petals in the, the grey. So this one, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> um, now there's a gap here, and then it's got two little short ones. You have to make sure you get them the right size so that they've got the right perspective. Then there's another gap, and then that one. Long one, longish sort of one, and then one like that. Okay, so a bit of pink down the middle of each of them. Being pretty abstract with these now, just trying to get the, the general composition ironed out. So I'll get a bit of a darker grey going here now. Okay, so, so on my big canvas that I plan to do, it's about five foot tall. 
So this flower here will be quite big. So then I'll have some medium sized ones here. The rest of them, I'll look at doing just in the background. So now in the photo, some, well, I've got quite a few photos, but in some of the photos, so they've got some sticks coming up from left over from the bushfire. Obviously with shrubs and plants and things. some greenery. It's got some of these. Uh, I'll maybe think more about the placement of these bits of greenery in the one that I end up doing. Basically, these flowers just essentially look like a, a mass of pink. So I'm just going to do them at the moment in, in some light pink. And they're just going to be a whole lot of them. So in the back, it will just be lots of... Now I want to try and make sure I'm not just coming up to the middle. So let me just mark. I'll measure that and just mark where it is. So side of this pastel paper is 47 so 3 into 47 three, six, so roughly roughly 16 just under 16 so we've got a little bit under 16 here a little bit under 16 here and across I have about roughly 30 so roughly 10 and 10 okay so I want to try and avoid with my composition having anything plopped in the middle okay um, so we're looking here and here there and there so look just I think my little pink things will just start about there. So just gonna do literally little squiggles at the moment. Uh, getting bigger as I come forward. abstract here just looking at for proportions really and as these come forward I need to knock the pink back a bit but right in the back there they just look a pale pink so this is a bit darker than what I need but for now that's okay I'm not going to put them right across, I'm just going to put them to here. get the idea so basically what I'll end up with is, is basically a field flowers pink flannel flowers getting bigger as they come forward so I'm only going to bring them to here so I don't want them competing with these ones at the front 
and this is still still a fairly abstract sort of piece with these elements done in a realistic way. So I think that's going to turn out all right. On the canvas one, I'll obviously be a lot more careful and a bit more precise, but for here, I'm just trying to see how it looks. some buds in as well so and I want to get some little suggestions of stems just grab a paintbrush and just water in those neo colors colors of water soluble wax pastels so they're great because you can apply the water afterwards and it sets them not that they need a lot of setting but it just brings the colors out makes it more vibrant and more painterly I actually love these pastels they're really cool I might just get some a bigger brush for those petals there This one for the petals. See now it's much easier to see them. Pink blends with the white. You can get the points on the end of the flowers. bring my primer tip in bring out some of those hues So 
as you can see, they're really versatile. And looking at this, I might end up using them on the actual canvas. Might be a really nice combo with the, the abstract background underneath with the charcoals and the new pastels. So this is looking really, really nice. Really soft. Quite happy with it. I usually don't do practice pieces, but because it's such a big canvas, so I'm doing that and really glad I did now because it just helps to cement some ideas and gives you a chance to try some different techniques to see what's going to work and what isn't. Well, I think that looks really cool. Okay, let's just do these. Just make sure you clean your brush when you change colours. As you can see, um, you can bring out the ends of the petals now. be using these they just give that really soft sort of feel which is what I'm after Too wet that one. So I'm being fairly, fairly hurried, hurried here, um, but I think I've picked the right thing to do my flowers with really nice because each of the techniques that I've tried I've been really happy with so I suppose it just goes to show you've got to have confidence in what you think is going to work but it is nice to have a little play first and just you know who knows you know one time you might have a little play and go oh don't like that try something else and it gives you a way to do that without ruining a huge canvas Okay. So I might just go over some of these. It's not as small ones. Um, Using these, the paintbrush does allow you to bring out the shape a little bit more if you want to. I'm planning on keeping all of these pretty abstract, not worrying too much about how many petals they've got. Just a suggestion of it. So, pretty happy with how this has gone. Uh, and do this bud here. Oh, yeah, I've got to do this bud. See how beautiful that colour is when you add the water? Watery.
Do it again. <laughs> okay, get that off. Too much water. Yeah, just be careful about adding too much water there. Just go back in. As you can see, if you add too much water, just go back in. It's easy. Great little pastels, these. Okay, that's just about it. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I think that is, has cemented my plan to go into the big canvas. I still might make some changes with the composition of the flowers, but for now, I'm pretty happy with that one. So I'll call that one finished. It's, it's oh, no, I won't. <laughs> Saw this little bud down the bottom here. So go in and do that. That. So basically, I feel confident now in preparing for my bigger canvas. In the bigger canvas, I'm thinking I might bring some mountains down behind. Um, this, these photos were taken up and taken up in the Blue Mountains, which is probably why it holds a special place for me. I was born in Katoomba, which is one of the bigger towns in the Blue Mountains. Um, we were born and raised there, both grandparents grew up there, both parents grew up there. So, but what I was saying, so behind all these abstract trees and things, I might just bring in some um, blue mountains behind some bigger trees and then having this abstract section over the top. But, okay, so thanks for, for joining me and I hope you enjoyed that. And please click subscribe and like or thumbs up if you enjoyed this and see you next time thank you bye so here is the finished practice piece i'm pretty thrilled with it really happy turned out a lot better than i expected um, so it gives me a good basis to start my big canvas project um, lots of things to think about do i need to apply some pastel ground first to keep getting that yummy texture um, I can look at the composition and work out if I want the flowers in the same sort of uh, design or do I want to change things around a bit. So this gives me a really good place to start and I highly recommend doing it when you're planning on, on doing a big project like this. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching along with me. Um, please click thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I can't wait to bring you my big canvas out of the fire painting. Thanks again. Bye.